there's a certain way of, that I lay out the palette. I lay the palette the same way I've been doing for 50 years. My white's all in the same place, my yellow ochre's there, crimson's there, right? Pathalo blue's there, Payne's grey's there. I can almost mix colours without looking, you know? Use a basic dark colour, dragging from the side to the side, dragging in, making a dark colour, thinning it down, and a kind of reddish browny purpley. And you started. It's common in all artists. We, we never like our own work. I wanted to be an artist. I've always, I am an artist. But when people ask you, what do you do? I've still got an embarrassment to say, I'm an artist, you know? I joke and say, oh, can I colour in? I'll be an artist till the day I die, or I'll lose my eyesight or whatever. Uh, but I do, I doubt my work all the time. And every artist that I respect says the same thing, right? Never happy. How are you painting? Rubbish. Or worse, you know, they're usually square. Uh, I doubt my work all the time. But I won't stop it. Because the next one's going to be better. <laughs> more movies out the way so you can see it. That one there is one I did a long time ago when I was short hair and a bit younger. Uh, when I was interested in painting directly onto wood, that's just wood panel, uh, pastel and a very thin um, layer of acrylic paint. And again, that would only take me about two hours. I've really fallen in love with acrylic. I used to not like acrylic paints when they first came on the market. They dried too quickly for me. They became what I call chewing gummy. You know, you put the brush in, it would be a bit stringy. Oil paint annoy me about the actual drying time. Sometimes you want to paint the next surface and it's still bloody wet. But the vibrancy of oil paint, there's nothing to beat it. It's a niche that won't go away. It's, uh, it's almost like a friend to me. I started a long, long time ago when I was a wee boy in Govan. My mum, dad and I stayed in a single end uh, in Govan. Uh, it's just one room and there was a big hole in the wall and that was the bed. And as a wee boy, I would be at the bottom of the bed. My first memory is the smell of my dad's feet. And I remember drawing wee cartoons and copying things out of newspapers and stuff. I spent a long time in hospital when I was a wee boy, for uh, almost two years of my life. And being in hospital for a long time, drawing became really important to me. It made every day shorter. And it was a habit I picked up. And so I started every day drawing and drawing and drawing and drawing. And it's never left me. Never, ever and I keep painting. I've known Jim for over about uh, over 50 years now. We went to school together. We then he went to art school. We parted company and I didn't see him for a long, long time. Uh, and then we met again down in the front of Millport. He's my friend. He's a Dell boy. He does a bit of everything. He does carpets, he does furniture. You want a window fixed, you want your kitchen fixed. You'll see Jim. We're surrounded with beautiful scenery over here. Um, and it's... Uh, it's an artist's paradise, really. Sea life, birds, everything like that. Surrounded by hills. It's just, it's just an incredible place. I can be there, leaving this house, and on the ferry, and be in Millport in about half an hour. So to me, it's my studio extension. And I paint there all year long. To me, it's a place I just go and escape. I know every square inch of Millport. Up the hills, down the valleys, the wee glens. And I just go there leave in the morning, go and paint and come back. I just love it. The paints I'm using just now are acrylic, atelier and golden acrylics. I was very close to my grandfather, Lackey, and he and I were great friends. He was an old invalid. I was a young invalid. We were close to each other. And he took me to Kelvin Grove Gallery 
He was looking at the boats downstairs and I walked up and saw these wonderful paintings all in frames and I went, ah, why do that? Why do that? I love him dearly. He's with me every day of my life. Um, I've painted and drawn him hundreds of times. Whenever I'm in the studio with nothing to do, I'll do another lackey. I love it. I've never ever lost that sort of excitement putting paints out and making a mess. Uh, but I say, just, I need it. I really, uh, just, I, it's a bug. I need it. And it gives me the excuse to pack the car and go away to the islands. It's part of me. It really is. Uh, and it's given me a great life.